What's up everyone? We're gonna be checking out the AN94 today. Uh, thank you for checking out the video today, by the way. Uh, if you want to, you can hit that subscribe button down below and leave a like on your way out if you don't mind. Helps out the channel a lot. Yeah, we're rocking the AN94 today. We're gonna... We just unlocked the, the tracers for it with the Season 5 Battle Pass. We just finished it up. So why not commemorate the event with uh, an AN94 video? We got the cool tracer bullets. That dude is whack for sitting in the corner. Yeah, we're using the AN94. It's pretty good. Not the best they are by any means. But it's not too bad. I've had some fun with it. You gotta play a little slower with it though. You, you can't... You can't just run around and... and be a maniac on the map. I'm dead. Only had three bullets in the clip. That's super... super unlucky. Yeah, we're just... Contact. I haven't used this gun too much. But, I mean, from what I've used of it, I can tell you it's not terrible. Wow, that dude... I think that dude thought he killed me, and he stopped shooting. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened there. Let me reload. I'm being an idiot and not reloading. Ooh, that was a bad challenge. There were four of them right there, just looking at that corridor. Might be a tough game. This might be a tough game, especially if they're communicating with each other. But I have no reason to suspect that. Those were some tough shots right there. We're just gonna go ahead and rotate. There's no way we're breaking that hill. Plus there's only like four seconds left. I'm gonna try to hold it down for the team here. Pretty sure they're all gonna start rotating over here. Not this time, you bastard. Changing mech! Like I said, this gun, you kind of don't want to run and gun too much, especially with the class I have. But I, I think I have a good class with it. It melts. It 100% melts. Nice teammate cleaning up the kill for me. Just waiting for him to start coming up from behind us. It's really only a matter of time. Yeah, they're already trying to push around. Oh, we're in a tough spot here. Tough spot. I don't know if the ISO is going to be able to get anything done here, though. I'm going to try to play for our streaks. Just died. Oh man. I had no idea that dude was there. One off my chopper gunner, that's super sad. Not that it's very good on this map, but you know, why not? So guys, the Cold War beta is tomorrow. Unfortunately, I do not have a PS4, which is super sad. I'm an Xbox fanboy. I mean, not that I really care to have one over the other, but uh, I've just had Xbox forever, you know. I don't really care for one over the other. I'm not like a console wars kid. It's just I've always had Xbox. You know, it's not like these consoles are necessarily cheap. But the Cold War beta is tomorrow for... No, not beta. Alpha. Only for uh, PS4 only, so I'm super sad. I was really looking forward to murking some kids on the map, but we're just going to have to wait till the beta opens up for everyone. Oh, and they just released uh, PS4 news, or PS5 news. Let me guys know down in the comments which ones you're going to be getting. I hear a lot of people going for the PS5, mainly because of uh, exclusives and whatnot, which I get it. The Xbox really isn't offering much as far as exclusives. It's just like kind of a worse PC. This one on top. And we're laughing our streaks here, unfortunately. I might die here with all these people pushing around the corner, yeah. I had my C4 too. That would have been a good time to use it. 
I always forget about equipment, to be completely honest. Good nade. Good nade from whoever that was. One's already pushing around the middle. One went up top. Ah. Oh, this would probably be a good time to use my Harrier, but I think, yep, somebody just called in theirs. I'm not doing too bad on the map so far. I mean, for this being a small map, we're kind of playing it well, 29 kills. Would like a little bit more, but like I said, we kind of got to play this a little slower just because of the way the gun is. Even if I changed up the class a little bit, I think I'd still have to play it pretty slow. We need to we need to push around for spawns. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking forward to uh, seeing a lot of people play the alpha. I'm not too salty about it. I'm gonna be looking forward to watching people play it, you know, seeing what to look forward to. Nice little double kill there. He stuck me, cabron. Mm -hmm. Nice little double kill. Yeah, I'm gonna be looking forward to seeing some gameplay. Oh no. Man, that dude missed a lot of shots. I shouldn't have even shot while I was trying to stem there. Shouldn't have even tried to shoot. But I will say this gun has like no recoil, by the way, guys. If you haven't noticed, this gun has absolutely no recoil at all. This dude keeps trying to bunny hop around corners and it's not working for him. I kind of feel bad. It's just not working for him. I might be dead here. Oh. He's getting pushed. Help him out. I think he's on the heady right here. He was. Ah, such bad timing. Such bad timing here. We're gonna try to go up top and see if we can uh, pick some people off. I'm pretty sure a teammate just died up here too. I think I just saw one right here. Oh, might a lot. We're getting kills though. The Harrier's picking up some kills. Love the tracers on this gun. Absolutely beautiful. He's just rocking that corner here. Oh, wow. He was super far back. Did not see that one coming. Oh, there's a lot of people still over there. Oh, they have an advance? So we're fucked. We're screwed. He was camping super hard for that. I didn't even see him. Oh yeah, we're screwed. This dude is even looking at his map. Oh, I killed him though. Uh, he was going straight for me, man. He even ignored the person running straight for him. Yeah, I keep losing my train of thought here, but the Cold War Alpha, I'm really looking forward to seeing some people play it. I'm pretty much a COD fanboy, so I'm really looking forward to seeing, seeing a lot of the new COD being played. I mean, it's going all weekend, so it'll be nice to see. To see a good chunk of gameplay other than, like what we saw from the multiplayer reveal, because we really didn't see too much. I would argue we didn't really see anything too great. We saw a little bit of hard point from some people, but most of it was like 12 and 12 and like the VIP mode. There's nothing really interesting to me personally. I'm more of a competitive uh, oriented player when it comes to Call of Duty, so that's what I like to see. I like to see the competitive game modes and stuff. I wouldn't mind seeing like CTF or something like that. These dudes are all pre-aiming me right now. Enemy UAV 
Uh, surprised that Nada actually got me. Thought about using my C4, but it was just a little too late. And I'm pretty sure it's a 4v6 right now. We might be able to hold this down. I mean, we're not too far behind. We don't want this spawn, though. Uh, I didn't think their whole team would push that way. Oh, that's super annoying. This gun has like no recoil, guys. It's a little gross. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTV for resupply. They're probably already rotated too. Oh, got the only one off. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, I didn't even see that dude, man. We got bad spawn, but I'm pretty sure it's like a 4v6 right now. I'm pretty sure they already rotated. Uh, they're just one step ahead. 69, though. 69. We're not going to argue with that. Could have had a little bit more time in the hard point. I think what really uh, nailed it for us was him calling in the UF. Or not the... The, the advanced UAV or whatever. Whatever it is in this game. I mean, we had another dude drop 52, but like I said, he, he didn't really play much OBJ. He was just going for the kills, which is fair. Do whatever he wants. Let me back out and show you guys what I was rocking with that whole game. I'd honestly say this is kind of of a stupid class. Uh, I'll try to break it down for you and try to go over the picks that I made. I mean, honestly, nothing here is too, like, big brain. I would argue we're going Monolith Suppressor just because it offers that extra damage range. We're not playing, like, uh... We're not playing competitive or anything, so we're not limited to what we can use. So Monolith Suppressor, mainly for that damage range, and obviously the suppression, which is is nice in public games because people hear shots and they're, they're going to hunt you down. For the barrel, we went with the Factory X 438mm, which this one is just the better of them all. Like, honestly, it offers the most for, without taking away too much. Uh, you lose some mobility with this one, but again, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, I've seen people use the Celia, what I'm going to call it, the LK one. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you could, you can make an argument for it, but I don't I don't know if the mobility that you get back from it is that much of a difference. Uh, I don't really think it matters. I just think this one kills faster. You have like no recoil, as you saw from most of my gameplay. I just I was killing people with no issues from across the map sometimes. Now I use a reflex just because the iron sights are garbage, like complete trash. Uh, I don't know why they decided to make it so bad in this game, because in Black Ops 2 it was not bad at all. Um, even in I don't think this game was in I don't think this gun was in Black Ops 4. I could be wrong. But in Black Ops 2 the AN was amazing. We're not reusing a stock on this gun. Yeah, we're not we're not running a stock just because there's not really anything that we would change out for it. I think the the reflex is what I'm choosing to use over a stock. Uh, I mean, if you did use one, I would probably recommend close quarters uh, for most occasions. Maybe maybe the Pyro. I'm not really sure. Uh, folded stock, I would recommend for like really small maps. Ones you really want to run and gun on. 
Then rear grip, stifled, and under barrel, commando foregrip. These are pretty standard for me. Stifled grip, you want that aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed. And then the commando foregrip is the grip I'm most comfortable with. It offers the most without uh, taking away too much. It doesn't hit your aim down side speed, which is really important. That's mainly why I use it on most of my classes. Uh, like I said, if you use this class, you shouldn't have to struggle with like recoil at all. So I uh, highly recommend. Highly recommend. But uh, yeah, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna be looking forward to the to the beta for cold or the uh, the alpha for for Cold War. So let me know what you guys are looking forward to when it comes to that. Um, and yeah, uh, I think that's gonna do it for me for today. Uh, if you guys like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like on your way out if you don't mind. Again, it helps out the channel a lot. We're trying to grow this pretty small channel, trying to get a little exposure. Like I said, I'm looking for people to play with, so if you want to add me, my Activision ID is at the top right. I need people to play with. I'm getting kind of bored playing these games by myself. But uh, especially going into Cold War, I would actually like to have some people to play with. But yeah, that'll, that's going to do it for me, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.